Dear Anne-Marie, both you and Mother seem to be quite interested in how our day on the front looks like. Will it surprise you if I would say, each day we keep on doing the same things differently? Truth be told, the more experienced we get, the less busy on the ground we are. While previously we needed to train, discuss the fights, now we have much more free time than all of those reporters claim in the newspapers. At the same time, however, these are solely the journalists who keep us busy these days, often being our only source of entertainment. Oh yes, of course, we fight every day, and even at night if we are ordered to. After father did not seem to be quite pleased with the way I answered the questions of the Deutsches Volksblatt a few weeks ago, we now decided to tell every reporter the same things. They do not care about it, though. Even von Richthofen is getting better and better at it, though we all have to agree he could not be a public figure for life. I think it was about ten reporters whom we have told about the night the English wanted to bomb our aerodrome, and Meyer, the one hiding schnapps under his bed, decided to shoot them down. Luckily, thanks to the fundamental training we received before coming on the front, we are prepared for every possible attack the English would come up with. Does it take much courage to fight the enemy whom you cannot see? For sure it is not an easy task, but Hans Meyer, you have certainly met him already, specializes himself in pursuing the target he once sets his eye on. The funny thing is that each of them ended up describing the story completely differently, even though they all heard the exact same one. In moments like that I tend to believe the press does not need us, but rather their imagination and some unlucky chap may transmit their ideas on. For now, however, thanks to von Richthofen's success, we are the only ones who won that lottery. Use bombs to destroy all mission targets in a limited amount of time.
Reinforcements arrived. 